Hello and welcome to WCPO Lounge X. I'm Brian Neese and I'm here at Northside Yacht Club. Uh, this time I'm joined by Wonky Tonk and The High Life. Uh, you guys have some new music that you guys uh, came out last year and we're going to hear some of that right now. Uh, the first song is Inspire Me, is that right? You got it, dude. All right, this is uh, Wonky Tonk and The High Life with Inspire Me.
That was Crying Shame by Wonky Tonk and The High Life. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming in. Uh, Wonky, would you introduce The High Life for us? My pleasure. The High Life consists of Eric, Dietrich, sorry, Eric Rick, Anna Miss Applegate, Alessandro Corona over there in the back yonder, and I am me. Indeed you are. Um, <laughs> You, I, I want to talk first about these these songs because uh, these songs are, are I think all off your your album that came out about a year ago called Lessons and Lovers. Mm -hmm. um, that album came out right as quarantine started. What what sort of experience was that like? Did it change how you were going to deal with this album coming out? It's a great question. Well, during that time, I was stuck in Ecuador and had been quarantined yeah. for months already. So it, it kind of was this idea that. Uh, it, it had fought so long to be alive, and these folks fought with me and John Hoffman and everyone else involved that it kind of, um, why wait? Why wait? If, okay. if the corona quarantine was happening, what better time for medicine of music, you know? So uh, it wasn't about, it would be really cool if we could tour it and get people to listen in the big shebang that normally it is, but 
it felt like exactly the right moment to unleash songs that came from our heart into the world. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, you mentioned Ecuador, and that was kind of an unusual scenario for you because you were in Central America for most first Hot half minute. of the quarantine. It was very interesting, my friend. It was I had gone for this shamanic arts and tantric yoga school because uh, the music biz had gotten me down and I needed to find a way to dig down deep and continue. And so I went there and it was supposed to be three months and it ended up being basically a year. And when we got quarantined, I mean, it was third world country. People were dead in the streets, were quarantined by the army. And we got to talk on the internet. Thank God for the internet. That exists still. <laughs> it was it was an interesting experience. But uh, it was really nice to release this record and feel the love coming back and forth um, over the waves, you know, to feel, to you don't realize how powerful love is until you're stuck in a third world country during a global pandemic <laughs> and release a record that your beautiful family made, you know? Hmm. That's a great insight, you know. You uh, recently played at Fountain Square. Yes. And that was your first show back into the world after coronavirus. How did it go? How did it feel? Boy, oh boy, that's a loaded question. <laughs> However, it felt great to create together. And um, that particular show had some nuances to it that I feel like the verse, God, universe, uni, whoever dropped it on us to go, hey, um, if, you can, if you can make medicine out of your experiences here, then you can make medicine anywhere. So it was like this beautiful opportunity where we all got to to band together in our love for music. And it was great, it was really great. It was really nice to play music, cathartic. That stage is huge and it was really fun to run around. <laughs> <laughs> Eric had his headphones on for the monitor, so I didn't want to yeah. like bother him. <laughs> <laughs> My earmuffs. <laughs> yeah. It was good. Very grateful to play live music. Yeah, you mentioned that it's a big stage and you've played on your share of big stages. You've also played on your share of tiny stages. I think somewhere in your bio it says something like, dive bars, zoos, and festivals. <laughs> uh, and I, I, I think that's pretty accurate because I think if you're a, a, a local music fan in the Cincinnati area and you haven't accidentally seen Wonky Tonk, you're probably not paying attention because it, <laughs> you, uh, it's, it's easier to list the places around town you haven't played. Um, what are some of your favorite small venues and big venues to play here in Cincinnati? Ooh, great question. Y'all can chime in if you'd like. You're, you guys play around here more often. Well, definitely the Comet. Yeah. The Comet. Yeah. Comet's a good yeah. small yeah. one, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I really love the Southgate House mm -hmm. um, yeah. for the venue and for the family of it from all yeah. the years. Uh, we played at this place a long time ago, one of our very first shows, Queen City Deli, which I don't think oh, yeah. happens anymore, but it was definitely the smallest place we've ever. Yeah. <laughs> when you're at the Southgate house, do you prefer the ballroom or do you prefer the, the lounge? Oh, boy. Because I think I've seen you play there both at different like festivals throughout the years. Yeah, you know, like the old Southgate house in with the revival, I really like the second floor. I okay. I like the second floor. A little more intimate? Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about um, your record a little more because we're going to hear some more songs off of that. Um, you have a couple singles that came out. I want to ask you about those. We're going to hear one of them in a minute. The other one is Suitors. Um, how has it uh, been releasing those singles and trying to promote them this year as things are starting to open back up? Releasing the singles, it feels like a little bit like you, you, know, you have to keep the plate spinning. You sure. have to stay relevant in some sort of way. And... And I feel like the nature of singles has definitely evolved over time with, with just the nature of life and the speed of life. And Streaming uh, and, you know, don't, people don't buy albums anymore. They just right. listen to songs at a time. However, I'm totally down with the, the way they all come together, you know, the, the threads that hold them together. So the releasing them, this year we've been working on a lot of things. We haven't yet released them. Um, <laughs> I operate a lot differently, I think, because I'm always listening to the song's voice and waiting for the moment it needs to be birthed rather than what I need. Yeah. Um, and so it kind of is a different approach. And, and releasing the music now, I feel like right now when it starts to open back up, it's sort of that influx of everybody just pining for, yeah. for everything. Oh. You know, we've been on pause. And 
And in that way, I think that what we're creating and going to release um, is going to find the crevices, right? The moments, the moments that people are inhaling instead of exhaling to, to go, which is normally probably not what people would say. Inhaling instead with. of exhaling. <laughs> I, I, yes. I like that quite a bit. <laughs> um, we're going to hear some more new music. Uh, not, a, not both your singles, but we do have one of the singles coming up. What's the next song we're going to hear? This next one is called Peter Pan from Brooklyn. Oh, okay, I like this one. <laughs> AKA the weird song. Yeah, AKA so it, a thousand other names. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's the one with the the, uh, the neat instrument we've got here. Uh, yeah, the little yes. wind controller. Yeah, I gotta mm -hmm. I gotta hear about that. Yeah, uh, it's just it's a rolling air phone. It's like, you know, they started making like wind controllers. I guess like in the '80s. I guess I didn't even know that until recently. But uh, yeah, this is like supposed to be a wind controller for a saxophone player. You know, if you. Uh, if you know how to play saxophone, you can like maybe rip on this. You, you know, know how to play saxophone? Yeah, yeah, I'm a sax player. I can't cool. play clarinet, so like the. Uh, so you're familiar with the the whole woodwind and, and uh, brass instrument? Yeah, uh, yeah, totally familiar. It, yeah. It's in your wheelhouse already. Cool. I, I yeah. can't wait to see uh, to see. I heard a little <laughs> bit warming up, so uh, uh, by all means, uh, let's continue on with more music from uh, Wonky Tonk and the High Life.
That was Wonk On by Wonky Tonk and The High Life. Uh, you know, uh, we were just talking right as you finished that. Is, that. is that a sad song, do you think, or not a sad song? Because it's got some sad elements. There are sad elements. Um, no, it is, it is definitely more picking up the pieces of yourself. We made a music video for it, and it's uh, exploring the five stages, or who's, who's looking? How many stages of grief, right? Like, gotcha. you, you go through, and you go through, and you go through, and you pick up the pieces, you put them together, and then it happens again, right? And that, I think every moment is, is sort of that birth and death and birth and death, and it's just that. I, it's is, is perseverance a good word to describe that song? Perseverance is a nice word for it, yes. That's an empowering, that's an empowering song. Put on these new boots. I'm walking away to you. We talked about some of your singles, and that is one of the singles off the album, and you mentioned the, uh, the music video. If people want to find the album and the music video, what's the best place for them to find more about Wonky Tonk? Oh, boy. Well, we have a website called wonkytonkmusic.com, but... Um, lately, I've figured out the Google Analytics, and if you just Google Wonky Tonk, you're going to find way more glory. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So trust the internet, Google Wonky Tonk. You guys played um, at Fountain Square. You've had one show back, and you're working on more. We don't know when yet. Uh, where should people go to find that? Should they just Google Wonky Tonk to see when you, your shows might start picking up again? Yes, sir. If you Google it, or again, wonkytonkmusic.com, I keep that on the home page, so... Great. Well, um, thank you guys so much for coming in and playing some fantastic music for us. Um, you heard it here on WCPO Lounge Jacks. If you want to hear more from uh, Wonky Tonk, just Google her. Thank you so much. We've been uh, here with uh, Wonky Tonk in the High Life for WCPO Lounge Jacks. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh. <laughs>